I think it's this desire to, to, to searching for a new music by meeting each other. Um, uh, well, uh, I, in, I initiated the project. I asked Ablai to come to make, to make this gathering happening. Uh, and um, maybe four or five years ago. And we started to play and um, there is a very a, a magical chemistry happening between us. So we just keep going with this good wave and uh, we are playing all, all around and uh, we have lots of pleasure to uh, all the time to, 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 to find each other on the stage and uh, travel together. Well, the music that we play is, uh, is a rooted music. Rooted it means that uh, it's like a tree, you know? It, it, the tree you see outside, you, you see what's going up. You don't see what's going down on the earth. But uh, a music which has roots, uh, you don't see those roots, but we try to keep links with those roots. And when you keep links to those roots, you keep some quality that uh, uh, the music has always had before. <laughs> and um, so uh, it's, it's really this image of tree for me, that uh, what, what you hear is, uh, some, for, for us, what it's something to? alive. But uh, as I said, it's a kind of rooted music. So um, this peaceful uh, uh, wave of music, I think it's part of the music. If we take it out, we are cutting the roots from the music. You see in the, also the instruments and the muse uh, represented, the different musical tradition represented by different instruments and musicians on the stage. There is, I play the Persian setar, so I, I'm coming from this Persian classical musical tradition. And uh, Ablai, uh, Ablai Sisoko is coming from uh, Mandang tradition, from uh, this, uh, he plays Kora, uh, African harp. And uh, Pierre Yves, he plays viola de gamba, which is a very typical uh, Renaissance Baroque uh, European instrument. And Patrick, he plays different percussions. Uh, but combination of these instruments um, brings combinations of ideas and music concepts. Uh, so uh, that's, that was the idea of creating this project, actually, with uh, this, um, uh, this dialogue between uh, the Persian setar with African kora and uh, the viola de gamba, which plays a role of bass in this project and keeps the whole uh, basis of the, uh, the structure uh, together, with, together with percussions. Yeah, the kora is a fantastic instrument. It's an African harp, uh, which is played uh, in uh, uh, this part of Africa, uh, Senegine, and uh, was born uh, centuries ago. Um, so it's a very uh, simple but very deep instrument. Uh, and uh, it's a kind of harp with 21 strings. And uh, it's played mainly by Griot. Griot who are uh, these messengers of the society. And um, Ablai is Belonging, he belongs to this family of Griot, so uh, it's, it's transmission from family. Is from it the tradition of going from place to place, uh, carrying information and sort of making an announcement? Yeah, well, the, the role of Griot in uh, the African society was very complex and very important, actually. Yeah. It was the representation of the kingdom, so it was the link between the king and the people. Mm -hmm.